Hi, Sharon here. I thought I'd just pop on and do a quick video about the um, haul I managed to get from some charity shops here. Um, the charity shops here in Spain are run by mainly by Brits for animal charities. Um, unfortunately, during the Franco regime here, there um, a lot of the Spanish history was destroyed or lost. So you don't get much antiques or anything like that over here. Anyway, I've managed to pick up, I'll show you what I've picked up. I've picked up six Reader's Digest books, which I thought would be great for covers. Um, they've got all different designs on it. So I thought that would be quite good. I particularly like that one, this one. Whoops, <laughs> a bit high. <laughs> there, I'll get rid of them. So I've got six there for covers that I'm going to use. Um, and then I have these, which aren't particularly vintage, but they had some good images in that I thought I could use on some things. This was Wuthering Heights. Um, then there's this one, which is the key to the tarot, which was some lovely tarot card images there. Not quite sure what sort of journal I'll use them in, but I'm sure I'll find something. Then I managed to get, these are my favourite, some two bird books of Britain and Europe. Um, this one has got lots of lovely images that I could actually fussy cut as well. I've got plenty of evenings in front of the TV, I think, fussy cutting here. And then this one has got more um, pictures like this that I can use for like these could be tea cards at the right size for it I was quite pleased with that then I've got um, the Royal Society of Prevention of Protection of Birds about nature in Britain and Northern Ireland so there were some lovely images here as well not just of birds of flowers I thought that was lovely of the um, brown hair um, and sort of all sorts of things. I like that as well. And that one. What is it? This is the... Um, oh, it's just a plain duck. Goose Anders. Hmm. Um, Grey plovers, I believe. But anyway, there's some quite nice images in that one. Then I picked up an atlas. Um, I'm actually doing a Tuscany journal at the moment. So I was after... Um, a picture a, a map of Italy rather so that's got that in here so that's quite handy and then I got this which was the investiture of his Royal Highness Prince Charles in July 1969 it's one of the official programs a bit relevant as uh, Prince, Philip, Prince Philip passed away yesterday um, but it's got some lovely again some lovely vintage images in here um, not sure what I would use them all for, but and the pages as well, even though they're glossy, it's got that old book smell. Royal family, oh, Prince Philip. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that was quite good. Then I managed to get two gardening, large gardening books, uh, which have got all sorts of images in flowers. Um, and I was going to use some of the pages to make some envelopes as well. I thought it would be quite nice. And then there's one of shrubs, which has got all these lovely pictures in. Um, up here, loads of them. I thought that would make a lovely page as well. So I've got lots of cutting out to do here in the evening. But my, some of my favourites are these that I've got. This is... Um, Popular card games. I can't find a date on it, but it's in pound, well, in shillings and pence. So, and it's very brown and aged. But as I say, unfortunately, I can't find a date on it, but I just love the pages. I thought they were gorgeous. Um, and then there's this, which is a miniature New Testament, and it's part of the Pocket Testament League membership card. Again, I can't find a date on it. It's got some lovely little music sheets and the illustrations. Look at these illustrations. They're gorgeous. Yeah. 
again if I do um, a prayer journal I think I'll be using some of these they're in the pages they're so flimsy of, or tissuey on oh, the sound of them is gorgeous then I picked this up teach yourself book Spanish I didn't realize it was Spanish first of all anyway um, it's dated uh, 1958 so again some lovely pages here in Spanish and English um, and some information about Spain I did like this give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser <laughs> that was quite good and then I got this one which is a celebration of love again the date was 1981 so not that old but I did like the poems that were in here and I thought would be quite good to make journaling cards and some of the images for a valentine's to my valentine more than a cat bird hates a cat or a criminal hates a clue or the axis hates the United States that's how much I love you <laughs> I have no idea what the axis is but anyway <laughs> bit different I suppose I've just chose that one at random as well <laughs> bit of a weird one um, this is Mary Thomas's embroidery book and this is 1948 and again I'm doing a sewing journal so I thought some of these could be used um, as pages but also as making journal cards and some of the flower images but for making some journal cards or tags as well as using the pages oh that's a cross stitch canvas didn't see that or a chair oh some of these are nice and old aren't they so i'll be using that this isn't so old it's a children's book Enid blyton um i think this was 91 so not that old but again i'm doing two um, journals for my new granddaughters so I thought some of these images and some of the writing in here the children's writing would be quite good for the, that as well not sure about him but anyway then these are my favorites absolute favorites how I managed to find these I dug deep for these was um, some playing cards with a very old Again, I don't know the date, but an old advert on there and on the sides um, and the backs of the cards have got adverts on uh, there. Sheet lead from St. Helens, which is up near Blackpool, I believe. So some of these playing cards, I definitely will be playing around with them. And then these patterns. Again, not sure when they came from. And I'm not sure whose this one is. Uh, simplicity but again there's no dates so I don't really know but there's some lovely old pattern material that I can use in um, the sewing journal but also just using pages as well in journals um, I'm gonna try and see if I can scan these in I presume I'm allowed to I'd need to check three shillings so again that's pretty old um, this one is simplicity again slightly different not as brown as that but um, I would think the eight, uh, the 70s if not the 60s with the lovely fashion dressing gown and then this one is actually in dollars US Canadian and Australian um, can't quite I'm not sure about the prices 675 in the US no idea what that would have been when um, and this is a McCall pattern. But this is all lovely in the brown, the lovely brown colour. I think it's gorgeous. So I'll definitely be using that in journals as well, um, along with the instructions. And some of the pages, again, these are all sort of browned as well. So, yes, I was really pleased with these. Um, and I did have to dig in a lot of boxes to get these. Anyway, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Speak soon. Bye.